Thank you for purchasing a big ride in-ground pool slide from SR Smith. In the next few minutes, we will show you how to successfully assemble and install a big ride. For more detailed instructions, please refer to the printed assembly and installation instructions provided with the slide. Let's get started. The big ride will arrive in one large box on a pallet that contains all parts and pieces. Make sure you have two people that can each safely support up to 100 pounds before you attempt to unpack the slide from the box. Inside the box you will find three flume sections, an entry, middle and exit piece, as well as a box containing all hardware, a tube of Cicloflex caulking and seven PVC legs. Place the flume sections on a soft surface such as cardboard to avoid scratching or damaging them. Carefully inspect all parts prior to assembly to ensure that no damage occurred in transit and that a damaged part is not used. Proper installation cannot be overstressed as an improper installation may affect the safety of the user and void the product's warranty. The parts box includes 22 3 8 inch flat washers, 22 3 8 inch by 1 and 3 quarter inch hex head cap screws, 22 3 8 inch hex nuts, 22 3 8 inch split lock washers, one 10 ounce tube of Cicaflex 291 gasket caulk, and seven 5 16 inch by 1 inch hex washer head screws. To assemble this product, you will need a ratchet handle, a 9 16 inch deep socket, a 9 16 inch wrench, sandpaper, a one quarter inch drill bit, a power drill, clamps, a level, preferably automatic, and a caulking gun. You should also have a clean cloth or paper towel handy to wipe away any extra caulking. To start, lightly sand the inside edge of the flanges and wipe clean. Starting with the exit plume section, apply a line of Cicaflex 291 approximately an inch below the slide runway surface. Use approximately half of the tube. Firmly press the exit plume section to the middle flume section. It may be helpful to use clamps to hold the flume pieces together while you connect the two sections with the appropriate hardware. Place 11 of the 3 8 inch 1 and 3 quarter inch hex head bolts through the connection of the exit and middle sections to make sure that the holes line up properly. The bolts should all face the same direction with the head of the bolt pointed toward the slide exit. After the bolts are placed through both sections, check to make sure that the slide runway is smooth. Any lip should be higher on the upper section of the slide. Then, place the 3 8 inch flat washer and 3 8 inch lock washer on the bolts and tighten the 3 8 inch hex nut from both sides with the ratchet and wrench. If the slide pieces do not line up properly, you can clamp them with three clamps so that the slide runway is smooth. Then drill two new alignment holes and tighten them before adding the other bolts as shown here. Next, repeat these steps to connect the top plume section to the middle section. When all of the bolts are tight, check the runway for any Cicaflex 291 that is protruding from the crack between the two sections. This should be wiped away with the clean rag before it is allowed to set. Cicaflex 291 cures in approximately three hours, but curing time may be more or less depending on heat and humidity, which will speed up the curing process. In this instance, the builder has created a dirt hillside to install the slide on, but you may use the PVC legs to aid in placement instead by installing the legs, placing the slide, and backfilling around it. The PVC legs are only designed to be used for placement and may not be used as the slide's primary means of support. To use the PVC legs, place the corresponding leg into each of the numbered sockets according to the printed installation instructions. Once all of the legs are in appropriate sockets, carefully turn the slide over. Place the slide in position relative to the pool wall in accordance with the manufacturer's placement instructions. 
This slide should have a minimum overhang of 4 inches and the exit should be no more than 20 inches above the water surface. Please refer to the printed assembly and installation instructions included with the slide for details. Once the slide is in position, level the slide in two perpendicular positions from the seat of the top platform. If using the PVC legs, adjust the legs until the slide is level. If not, you will need to add or subtract whatever filler material you are using beneath the slide to make the slide level. Once the slide has been leveled, now is the time to actually secure them by drilling a hole through the existing hole in the PVC sockets and into the PVC leg. Insert the self-tapping screw through both pieces of PVC and tighten. Start with the longer legs first and then continue towards the exit section of the slide. After the slide is placed properly, it is time to run water to it. The Big Ride is equipped with a PVA water jet. It is designed to attach to a 1.5 inch PVC pipe. No other components of the water system are included. The water should run at 5 to 35 gallons per minute, but can be adjusted as desired. Finally, complete the look with rocks, plants, or whatever landscaping materials you desire. Thank you for purchasing an SR Smith Big Ride in-ground pool slide. For more information, please visit us at www.srsmith.com or call us at 800-824-4387 and we would be happy to assist you.